Hey guys, Sarge here. What we're going to be doing, uh, you guys should have already seen my tabletop review of the 6-hour P320. What I'm now going to be doing is a range review of the 6-hour P320 Compact, and I'm also going to show you guys the subcompact, as well as shoot some G9 ammo, uh, which in my personal opinion is the best self-defense am ammunition currently on the market. Um, and, and I'm telling you guys, you need to check them out. So, let's shoot a couple mags out of the P320 Compact and see how I do. Stop! Slide lock to the rear, not sure why. We're at about 25 yards, guys. Let's see if I can do this one hand. All right. All right. Guys, uh, this is something I covered in class, but I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys as well. If you guys can see with my thumb, I keep my thumb up for any uh, single-handed shooting that I do, and the purpose for that is I am locking the beaver tail between my thumb and the meteor portion uh, before my index finger. And I'm locking that into place, okay? So let's go ahead and walk down here, guys. All right. And now what we're going to do, we are going uh, to go left to right. And see how many I can miss. Some people see how many they can hit. I see how many I can miss. Okay, and I, I don't know if uh, the the gentleman was in the frame for that. I was not shooting at him. We are multiple yards away. Um, he was nowhere near it. Bullets go straight. They don't go sideways. Just so you guys are aware of that. Okay. Well, the bottom one there is louder than the top one. One to the chest. We'll do one to the head. Okay. Let's see if we can move these. Oh, probably not. All right, we'll move back down this bottom one that was giving me problems here. There we go, good. I must have known I was done shooting today. All right. Let's see here, guys. So we got we got three rounds left. What we're going to do here, okay, three rounds, we're going to come from the holster, and we're going to see how fast, how fast we can shoot. we got some individuals doing a CCW class across the range from us here. Uh, we're going to see how fast I can put three target, or three rounds on the silver target, guys. All right, guys, I got that in 3.3. Something to consider, as you guys saw, my slide lock back to the rear. Uh, I, that's happened twice now. Not really sure what's going on. Um, that's something I'm going to have to look into. One thing I want you guys to consider, malfunctions or issues like that are going to happen. You need to have an, appro a, an appropriate response to those, okay? Uh, just saying, oh, no, my gun malfunctioned is not the right answer. Um, and what you do in practice is what you're going to do in training and what you do in training is what you're going to do in a fight so that is something you all need to consider let's go to the case real quick guys and what we're going to do is i'm going to load up some mags and then i'm also going to switch out this p320 compact into the p320 subcompact and i'm going to show you guys how well that works okay so up here at the range okay we'll drop the magazine slide is locked to the rear and what we're going to do, we're going to come down here on the takedown lever, okay? 
push it as far down forward as possible, and you guys should have already seen this in the tabletop. We will then take the slide off the gun. The takedown lever will come out just like that. The fire control unit's right there. What we're then going to do is grab our subcompact conversion kit, put our trigger inside of the subcompact conversion kit, Okay, it is locked into place. Locked in. Okay, good to go guys. So what we're going to do now is shoot this P320 subcompact. Uh, real quick, just so you guys can see, this is some G9 ammunition. I'm going to show you guys what their hollow points uh, feel like. Okay, um, and, and I'm going to explain to you guys just what the difference is between them and other ones on the market. Just so you guys are aware, the bullets I'm about to shoot are 90 grain bullets traveling at 1400 feet per second. So think about that. They're 9 millimeter bullets traveling at 1400 feet per second. Uh, that, that is truly something that I'm amazed with. Um, the technology that's there, it's, it's pretty good guys. And they're an outstanding company too. Um, they definitely are not one of those companies that out-resource just so that they can make a, an easier dollar for them. Um, so let me load these up. The P320, unfortunately, and I say unfortunately, when you guys watch the tabletop video, I've said on there I've never had a malfunction with this pistol. Um, that was until, of course, today. Something I want to disclose. This P320 I bought in 2016. From now from 2016 to now, I've not replaced a single spring or part in this pistol, and it is close to 10,000 rounds of ammunition. Um, it is now having issues with extraction, and it seems to also have issues with just the slide locking back uh, for no reason. So I, I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Um, we'll see if the subcompact has any issues, but... For, for me, 10,000 rounds before it has an issue, and we can probably sum up the issue to being a recoil spring, I'm, I'm okay with that. I, I, I really am. I can easily change out a $12 recoil spring. Uh, that is not a, not a problem. Not a problem at all, guys. So just so you guys uh, do know, okay, that that's, that's what's going on there. Um, I see a lot of people review pistols. And they review them for a week, and then they give you an opinion saying, well, you should carry this pistol. Well, you don't know anything about it. Um, if I just reviewed a Taurus for a week, I might tell you it's a great gun, but maybe after two months I realize it's not. Look at XDs. I might think an XD is great the first time I take it to a range, and then after a month, two months, I realize it's crap. Um, so that's something to think about, right? Really look at who is reviewing it, how long are they reviewing it, and... and what their overall outcome is, if if they went to a range, shot a couple times, put it back in, in their safe before the next review, that's not a review I want to give any weight. I want to look at the guys who actually put rounds through it, take the training courses, take it through some of the flights of the shoot. It's like being at an airport or something. Um, we'll, we'll wait till shooting through drills, things like that, to really push the pistol through its paces. To find those breaking points. Hey, once your P320 hits 8,000 to 10,000 rounds, change out your recoil spring. Maybe change out X, Y, or Z. Those are things to look into, right? Um, so, just so you guys know. Now, the holster I'm using, this is a Bravo concealment outside the waistband holster. I've used them for my 1911, my Glock. Don't have any issues with them. Good, good holsters. Um, this is fitting. My subcompact P320, just fine. This is actually for the compact P320. Fits it just fine. So, hey, if, if you guys are looking for one holster to, to fit the P320 family, I, I would look at Bravo Concealment, okay? Um, so let's, let's head out here, guys, and we're going to shoot this G9 ammo just so you guys can kind of see what the recoil is like and uh, how, how it functions in a gun. Now, I will say I'm kind of cheating in a sense. Uh, because I've been shooting G9 ammo for a while now, and I've shot it through all my pistols, and I've had no problems with it, okay? So, let's see how we do. And we'll start right here on one of the swingers on the tree. Missed. 
Man, it's got some smack to it, although it is traveling at 1,400 feet per second. Okay, so we did have one failure to fire. Let's see if we can find that, see if it happened to be a light primer strike or anything to that effect. Um, I'll look forward after this video, guys. I have no idea where it went. Let's just finish shooting these that we got. Okay, cool thing with the P320 series, guys, it's just like, uh, just like your Glocks. They will fit all the larger magazines that go with them. Um, so right now I have 15 round magazines inside of the pistol. We'll go right, right to left, right to left. That one did not want to move, huh? Okay. I hope you guys can really see. This is a subcompact that has little to no recoil, guys. Look at me shooting at this silhouette. Three rounds pretty quick. There is no recoil that's jumping out of my hand at all. And this is a very concealable pistol, guys. Alright. And now this would not be a proper review if I didn't take it out to distance. So let's go back here, guys. And I will take it out uh, just past 25 yards to our shooting, uh, or 25 yards, excuse me, to our shooting here with a subcompact P320. So I'm going to shoot for that plate right there on the far left. Okay. Right. Let's go for the silhouette. Go for the two hands. And it should be the last one, guys. Let's go back to the plate. Ah, all right. All right, guys. You let me know what you think. I am pleasantly uh, impressed with the P320 series, guys. Um, I, I've had these pistols for over a couple years now. I put thousands of rounds through the compact and the subcompact, and I, I, I really, truly will vouch for these pistols. They, they've never done wrong in any sense, and every pistol is going to have malfunctions. If you believe that there's a pistol out there that doesn't, you're, you're mistaken. My Glocks have had issues um, just as much as my SIG. It, you, you have to look at how, how much... What ammunition are we putting in there? What type of ammunition? Um, things to that effect. So let me know what you guys think about these pistols down in the comment section, guys. You all can like the videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more. Sarge out.